Nigerian genius. Hello everyone, my name is Stanley Lobi uh, from Amadebele University area, and here with me are my team members. My name is Umana Daniel Peter, presenting Team Unuyu at uh, the Nigerian Genius Competition 2023. We are here live at Clinconel Innovation Center. My name is Anuma Meza Paul from Federal University of Technology, Mina. My name is Mama Ramaseli David from Yaba College of Technology. Uh, here, we, here we are at uh, CIC and we are giving a tax to design um, a farming robot that can perform several objectives. Okay, so far you can see we are still working on this uh, farming ro uh, robot. At least uh, we've gone far. You can see the tire, the seeding, and some of the functions it's going to perform is weeding, seeding, digging, and also watering. Today we have been given a grace to continue our project. Although we are supposed to do our finals today, today was supposed to be the grand finale, but we uh, we were told to continue with our pro with our work. That's been adjourned to tomorrow. Okay, for my colleagues, they are working. You can see them at the back there. They are trying to figure out um, a problem on our Arduino code. So, but today we've gone past uh, some issues we had yesterday. Although we were faced with um, Arduino issues, like I talk about Arduino, uh, we. We had our Gino got burnt, even our Bluetooth module uh, went hay haywire, uh, even our, our uh, motor driver had the same issue. But however, we've replaced that, we've uh, continued our installation and uh, the progress is still ongoing. Then for our, our robot, robot is meant to um, replace the farmer due to Boko Haram insurgency in the north. We've taken the no uh, northeast as our area of concentration, the northeast, which is um, um, faced by terrorism. We are asked to design a robot for farming, and presently these are stage like we've gone far in the project. And right now we are coupling and test running all the features that we add on it, features like planting and the movement, watering system. That's what we'll be checking to see how better it will be tomorrow for the final. Presentation. This machine is designed to, to plow. We're also working on the digging operation, and this is the water pump so for irrigation purpose. And it also has a camera. Um, and you can also plant through this season. So, it is a multi purpose farm robot. I would say it's still at um, maybe 95% and we are supposed to we are supposed to be done by for tomorrow morning. The challenges I'm facing basically is my system. Because of anytime the light goes off, the system goes off like a desktop. So far the challenges we've uh, been undergoing as a group is the issue of power. Um, in terms of the battery, the batteries we get, uh, we don't have the charger to charge it. So immediately we connect and we use before you know the battery drains down and it will not be able to power the whole of the circuit. So currently now we're using a, a 12 volt adapter uh, from a charger to be able to power because one of our colleagues, uh, we just got a solution to get a microphone battery that will be able to power everything. So that challenge, I believe, will be surmount. As engineers, we don't want to going to that point where we'll be having issues with people. So we will build it without um, encroaching into another man's patent. Inside the system, we have not been able to sleep very well for a long time now. Just to work in there and it's now, we don't even know in time which 5 o'clock, time don't 5 o'clock. And we have years since morning. So, I have not been able to rest. I had this. I had this fool. <laughs> uh, how ready we are. Uh, so far, we believe today we should be able to carry on the testing because most of the functions are now working. We believe we'll do the demo today. Um, okay, from the visitor we had today, uh, he encouraged us some more inspiring thoughts because I was inspired and he also some motivation for us to continue in this aspect uh, because in TIC here, they bridge what we call the, what we do in class and also to relate them with. Uh, uh, the practicality of what we we learned in class. Moving that kind of practical, the way you now consider that this is the way.
consider the real materials you're going to use, they consider the real power in that you're going to store in there, building that thing that we can come out together. You drag me to there, it is AB, you drag me back and say, six months after these people have now built a farm ready model, and they've met that thing that you told them, when I come out and build this thing, then I'll go there. And wherever I am, I'm going to come, I'm going to see. And some of the uh, things he noted from our design uh, was what is our farming robot uh, solving, which we told him seeding, watering, uh, planting, and other functions. For today, we will still continue doing our tasks till Mama's call. We will continue pressing hard to make sure we achieve 100% completion. Nevertheless, we were visited by um, one of the indus industry experts. Uh, his name is Mr. Emeka, Engineer Emeka rightly. He came all the way from Scotland to, to visit uh, the Nigerian um, Genesis uh, contestant. He, he, he came to interview us in our different cubicles, advise us on the way forward, that we should not allow what we learned here to go in vain. We should take that to the bigger society. Uh, we should be persistent like the, the CEO of this great um, innovation center, Mr. Totuku, that he is persistent, he has focus, said we should emulate him. He also, um, during our, fi our closure, our, our final stability, he gave um, a grant of 150,000 Naira each to the team with innovation and 150 to the other team with um, a, a sense of recycling. I tested it yesterday on the soil outside. Although it works perfectly, all the futures, but there are some faults in the movement. We figure out that the tower was not the best for the project here. Yeah. Our challenges right now is no longer power issue or anything. Our challenges presently is time. We are running out of time and we have a lot of ideas to put in to make sure we bit up with the time. Advice we are giving about what we are doing here is after leaving this place, you know, just let everything that we learned die within our minds. You find a way to express it. You find a way to teach others as well. And in aspect of in aspect of showing it out to the world is he asks us that if there is a better way after this place, we should come back together and design a bigger version of the prototype. Yeah. For well, demo test um, yesterday. All the parts were working, apart from the tire, due to the slope, slopey soil. So one tire was above the soil, so it was not able to rotate properly. So we have gotten a DC motor to also fix at the front front tire. So as if there's any issue like that, the front tire will support it. So that, that, that is the that what we observed from the demo, like the error that was in our robot. We are also able to correct the camera lagging um, using the Bluetooth mode. Use the Bluetooth to connect the robots for to to stop the lagging because we have, we are having problem using Wi-Fi. So we have created both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth for the robot. This is us today. Who came all the way from Lagos? He was very happy with um, with our design and the since we um, the, the the specification of our robot. Um, like for for instance, the temperature and humidity sensor that to store. Um, records of temperature in the cloud. So he was happy with our innovation skills and he advised us to keep pushing and never give up. I would say that we are about, we are very, very close. Just a few touch and we'll be done. I want to say thank a big thank you to CIC and also to the CEO for this wonderful uh, competition and training. Uh, I and my colleagues have uh, really enhanced so much knowledge on some of these uh, components. Um, we, here we are, we are programming, uh, what is it called, in Proches, uh, what is it called, in Arduino, you know, which we were not able to do before. But because of this essence of this training, uh, some of my colleagues here can now work on AutoCAD and design properly. So we say a big thank you to you. We use our project to make the environment safe, make the farmer safe, and also produce food. Food will help Nigeria escape the, the problem called food crisis. If we don't plant enough, we will not have enough. So an hungry man is an angry man, we want to make this food enough. 
so that everybody be happy in Nigeria. God bless Clinton Nail Innovation Center. God bless Nigeria and God bless you out there. Thank you for watching. I can say we are prepared in a way because our projects are almost done with and we fixed some parts that we are having issues with yesterday. So we are prepared. Sir. Yeah, I wanted to give thanks to Clinton Nails for all the opportunity that we have in starting from the first day we arrived here, the training and all the good treatment we received and the skills as well. And thanks to the moderators and our coaches as well. Thank you. I would like to say thank you to our families, friends, colleagues, um, lecturers in school, our, our supporters. Thanks for your support and God bless you. The Nigerian Genius Man.